today, Lou Wolf, the mascot of Loyola University Chicago, is visiting the Women in Leadership Archives. Lou is just outside of Piper Hall, where the Women in Leadership Archives is housed. Lou is visiting the archives today to do some research on women in sports professions. Let's follow him inside and give him a hand. The Women in Leadership Archives is on the third floor of Piper Hall. Up we go! You're almost there, Lou! Here we are. This is the door to the Women in Leadership Archives' reading room, where researchers come to look through the Women in Leadership Archives' collections. The first thing Lou has to do is fill out the researcher registration form. This tells us why Lou is using the archive and what he is going to use that research for. Lou signs and dates the form, and we hold on to it for his next visit. After Lou fills out the researcher registration form, one of the WLA's employees goes over the rules with them. Reading and understanding the rules of the archive are very important because the rules are in place to keep the materials in tip-top shape for other researchers to use. Lou, what are you doing? You can't have those things out in the reading room. Eating and drinking isn't permitted while using archival materials. They can stain or irreparably damage the documents. Archival materials are unique because they are one of a kind, so you have to be especially careful when you're handling them. That's better. After Lou signs the rule sheet, Lou can look through our finding aids to figure out which collections he would like to use to begin his research. Or he can just look at our website, luc.edu slash WLA. To explore the Women in Leadership Archives' collections, go to the Collections tab on the main menu. The Manuscript Collections tab shows you what collections are kept in the archives. The finding aids are alphabetized by last name for individuals papers and by name for organization records. Since Lou is researching women in sports professions, he should look at Sister Jean Dolores Schmidt's papers. Sister Jean joined the Religious Order of the Sisters of Charity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, or BVMs for short, in 1937 and had an extensive background in education before becoming chaplain of the Loyola University Chicago men's basketball team. Go Ramblers! Once Lou decides on a collection he wants to look at, that's where the GAs or graduate assistants come in. An archive isn't like a library where you can browse the bookshelves for what you want to read. The workers of the WLA need to go into the archives to fetch the material for you so you can look it over in the reading room. Let's follow one of them while she retrieves the collection Lou is interested in. Now Lou can research all he wants. Don't forget, Lou, you have to handle the materials with care. Only have one box open, and remember to take only one folder out of the box at a time. Keeping it in order makes it easier for other researchers after you to use the materials, too. Thanks for remembering to use gloves when looking at photos, Lou. If you hadn't worn gloves, you would have left a paw print on the photo. Anyone looking at photos in an archive always needs to wear gloves. But don't worry, the Women in Leadership Archives always keeps clean ones in stock. Thanks for visiting, Lou. Come and see us again really soon, and bring your friends. Don't forget, go to luc.edu slash wla to check when the Women and Leadership Archives is open. If you can't make it during normal operating hours, with advance notice, the Women in Leadership Archives will open on weekends for researchers. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>